You guys are making my job so easy here. Like, all I have to say is Bianca or Mississauga or U.S. Open champion. Now, I, I, I opened up by saying it was an honor to be there in New York for two weeks, and it was an honor because I had a front row seat to history by watching Bianca Andreescu play. You know, like you, I watched what she did on the court, and it was unbelievable. And beating Serena Williams puts kind of the cherry on top. But I, I dealt a lot with Bianca off the court. Sorry about that, but she, she had a lot of interviews to do. And I look out to this crowd, and I see what she did over those two weeks, and really what she's done all year in connecting with Canadians, and connecting with those from Mississauga, and connecting with... The, the, the young athletes in this country, the young people, and how she's not just a champion, and she didn't just make history. She didn't ask to be an ambassador for tennis or as a Canadian, but she carried that role so well. And every single one here can look at, and I keep having to remind myself, this 19-year-old, how great of a role model she is, and how so many people came up to me in New York and pulled me aside and said, I can't believe her. And I said, yeah, you know, her forehand's good. Like, no, 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 no. I can't believe the way she carries herself. I can't believe, you know. So, Bianca Andreescu's story, as much as it is about tennis today, goes on that. And I see so many smiling faces here. And one woman who hasn't stopped smiling since, well, last Saturday. Please welcome the mayor of Mississauga, Bonnie Crombie. today's rally to celebrate your incredible achievements. But before we get started with a very fitting tribute for our tennis champ, it's my honor to introduce the guests who have joined me here on stage. But first, let's give it up for Bianca's parents, Maria and Niku, and Coco is here too. <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine how proud you must be of your daughter. Now I'm going to just introduce the dignitaries that are here with us. First, the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. Minister of Sport, Kirstie Duncan. Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, Lisa McLeod, representing Doug Ford. <laughs> Mayor of the City, no, Mayor of the City of Toronto, John Tory. <laughs> the Chair of Tennis Canada, Board of Directors, Jennifer Bishop. <laughs> Our former beloved iconic Mayor, Hazel McCallion. Sorry, Justin. Hazel's just a little more popular in this town. <laughs> I brought my members of my council with me here today. Give a wave. Ward 1 Councilor Stephen Dasko. Ward 2 Stephen Ross. Home of the ORC, that's right. Ward 3 Councilor Chris Fonseca. Ward 4, John Kovac. Ward 6, Councillor Ron Starr. Ward 7, Councillor Dipika Damrola. Ward 8, Councillor Matt Mahoney. And Ward 10, Councillor Sue McFadden. We have a lot of other dignitaries. Just give a wave when I, when I acknowledge you. Mississauga MPs, many of them are here with us. They're all over here. Mississauga MPPs, they're here with us. Senior leader, 
leadership from the fire, police, emergency services, the Mississauga leadership team, representatives from Tennis Canada, representatives from the Ontario Rocket Club. There they are. Including 40 of these incredible youth, they came with their signs to honor Bianca, representative from the Mississauga Sports Council. We have GTA mayors from right across our great city and region, regional chairs, and we have Superfan Navadia here too. Where's Superfan? He brought the Raptor with him. Wow. So we are so excited to be here for this monumental celebration with a key to the city. It's not something you see often anywhere, let alone in Mississauga. And I look forward to this presentation here on stage just in a couple of minutes. But before that, there are some excited and proud Canadians with me on stage who would also like to exchange words of congratulations. So right now, it is my honour to welcome to the stage the Honourable Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Thank you, Bonnie. Hello, Mississauga. How about that, Bianca Andreescu? Bianca, how extraordinary. Her skill, her determination, her personality. Thank you, Bonnie. Hello, Mississauga. How about that, Bianca Andreescu? Bianca, how extraordinary her skill, her determination, her perseverance, but mostly that incredible grace and composure under extraordinary pressure. Congratulations, Bianca. She is an inspiration to all Canadians, old and young, but to be honest, especially an inspiration to young Canadians because she showed that young people can do anything. She is the embodiment of the fact that young people are not the leaders of tomorrow. They are leaders today, like Bianca. Félicitations Bianca, uh, je sais que c'est pas la dernière fois qu'on va se rassembler pour célébrer une incroyable victoire. Bravo, on est tellement fiers de toi. But as we celebrate this incredible young person, this incredible achievement, this incredible tennis player, we have a few more people to thank. Specifically, Niku and Maria and Coco. Niku, Maria, thank you for raising such an extraordinary daughter, an incredible champion, and thank you as well for all those years ago choosing Canada to start and launch your family because in this country anything is possible and you and so many Mississaugans have proven it. Merci tout le monde. Thank you Mississauga. Thank you Canada, but mostly Thank you, Bianca! Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. On stage, Coco, I believe, is sleeping, but I think that's what Coco does. Um, but it's so great to see the community come together and so great to see the province come together. And I would now like to invite the Honourable Lisa McLeod, Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, to share a few words on behalf of the provincial government. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is amazing to be here. I'm from the city of Ottawa, our nation's capital, and I can tell you that everyone I've spoken to this weekend is so proud of She the North. I am so humbled to be here, so I think this is the best part of my 13-year career in politics. Because Bianca, I think, did something for every single Canadian, and I say this on behalf of the people of Ontario. She made us cry. She made us smile, she made us laugh. We felt every piece of agony and brilliance that she had on the court. But I think what defines Bianca more than just talent and skill, discipline and tenacity is grace. It's grace. It is grace under fire. It is poise 
grace when the national and international media is watching you, and it was grace when she accepted victory. And I am so proud to be here today. And if there's one thing that I would ask every young athlete here, who here plays tennis? Who here plays basketball? Who here plays lacrosse? Who here plays hockey? Who here plays baseball? I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, and, my, and boys and girls. I'm a hockey coach. I'm also the minister of sport. But one of the most defining characteristics of the best athlete ever is not just raw talent. It's the way they are coached, and it's the way they conduct themselves. And so today, as we stand here, as you are all from the GTA and Mississauga, as Ontarians, as Canadians, we saw the most coachable player I've seen in my lifetime. And it's because she is so graceful and gracious. And so I ask all the young athletes today to take hers as an example. Now, finally, I just want to say this. One of the things that makes me so proud to be an Ontarian is I often say we are the world in one province. Look around. Our best-selling feature as Ontarians is we're all different. We've all come from somewhere else. But one of the best parts about Bianca is not only has her family come here and succeeded and have given us, as, a, as Canadians, the greatest gift of all, which is the U.S. Uh, Open champion, but they personify what it means to be a Canadian and an Ontarian. And I couldn't be more grateful than for the gift that you have given us. The entire world is watching, and we're so proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister McLeod. Uh, as we know, Bianca put on a performance in New York, and I'm, I'm not actually talking about the tennis, although the, the seven match wins are great and beating Serena are great. She did some work on the Today Show, Good Morning America, The View, Jimmy Fallon. And she gave a few shout outs during Jimmy Fallon, including our next guest. The Mayor of Toronto, John Tory. Well, thank you very much. Uh, just in case you don't know where Toronto is, it's a suburb of Mississauga just to the west of here. And I want to say thank you to Mayor Bonnie Crombie for including me uh, in this tribute to Bianca Andrescu because uh, she is a, a national uh, champion. She's a Canada's champion, she's the GTA's champion, and Toronto is very pleased and proud to be part of paying tribute to her great win. And you know, it's going to be a bit repetitive, but I think it shows you that we all see the same thing, all of us who are here today. And that is that it's one thing to win a major sports championship. This may be the single biggest individual sports uh, achievement in Canadian history, but it's another thing how you do it. It's another thing how you do it. It isn't about the winning on the court. That was magnificent, but it's about how she handled the win. And I was reading a quote the other day that said that, uh, that sports doesn't shape character, but it reveals it. And I think we saw in the aftermath of her winning that she was somebody that all Canadians would want to represent us as Canadians. She was confident but not arrogant. She was not timid, she was smart and she was funny. And these are the ways I think we'd want to be seen by people and she did us so proud uh, as Canadians. Now, I don't have it here, so it's gotta be somewhere, but that's okay. I just need that bag for one minute here. I. Um, I'm very pleased to say that tomorrow uh, in the city of Toronto, and unfortunately I can't tell people they don't have to go to work or that they get free rides on the TTC or whatever, but tomorrow we have proclaimed uh, Bianca Andrisco Day in the city of Toronto. We want to be in on this. Not too many people get their own day, so you should come on out and get this, Bian uh, Bianca. If you want to ride for free on the subway, you can, but nobody else can. But. And look, we're, we're, we're just uh, trying to uh, make sure that we know that there's always a, uh, an open door for you. So I got you something. Your, your home isn't in Toronto yet, but see, I said yet. Yeah, I don't want to get myself in trouble here, Ms. Saga, but we got you a home in Toronto because we want you to know you're always at home in our city. And so you have that as well. And then for her parents and for her, we have what's going to be a bestseller t-shirt. Toronto loves Bianca and we love you. And we, have, we, are, we are proud of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so we'll take it off stage for I'll take it. Oh, you Oh, we've got to put that back. <laughs> there 
All right, you do. Toronto, just taking things left. No. <laughs> Throughout Bianca's run this whole season, throughout her career, and especially with winning the U.S. Open, you know, she's talked so much about how she, she wouldn't be here without Tennis Canada. I know there's a lot of members of Tennis Canada here today. There's no coincidence that we're celebrating a Grand Slam champion here. There's no coincidence that we have two young guys in Felix Auger-Aliassime and Denis Shapovalov. Shapovalov from Richmond Hill, Ontario. Milo Sronich a couple of years ago went to the Wimbledon final. He's also from the GTA. Jeannie Bouchard, same story. And Tennis Canada's work over, especially over the last 10 years, is a reason why, and I can say this, being in New York and covering tennis, Canada is the envy of the tennis world. And it's, I gotta say, it's particularly sweet when an American is telling you that. Uh, on behalf of Tennis Canada, uh, I would like to uh, welcome up the chair of the Board of Directors, Jennifer Bishop, to talk about Bianca's achievement in New York. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Hi, everyone. On behalf of Tennis Canada, thank you to the City of Mississauga for your warm hospitality as we celebrate Bianca's incredible achievement. It is my, our privilege to be here. As we further establish Canada as a world-leading tennis nation, the inspiration that Bianca's success will provide to the next generation of players is invaluable. Already, we are seeing the impact. Since Bianca's win, we have been inundated with inquiries from all across the country, from people of all ages and diverse backgrounds, from large cities and small communities, all wanting to know more about how and where they can start playing tennis. However, the true impact of Bianca's success will be felt in the months and years ahead. As participation in this great sport continues to rise, the demand for year-round play in Canada will only increase. Tennis Canada is motivated and determined to work with the provinces, territories and municipalities to create opportunities to build indoor tennis facilities that will develop into community hubs, help grow the game and inspire the next generation of Canadian champions. Bianca, you truly embody Tennis Canada's mission to lead the growth of tennis in our country. From St. John's to Victoria, countless young children watched you defeat one of the most decorated athletes of all time with grace, humility, and true Canadian sportsmanship. We are so proud of you. We have seen you grow into a best-in-class tennis player, and more importantly, an inspiration to millions of people around the world. How privileged are we to be able to call you one of our own, a Canadian. Thank you, Bianca. Enjoy this special day, and best of luck in Beijing. Thank you, Jennifer. Bianca, from coast to coast to coast, Canadians were loud, they were cheering you on, they supported you from start to finish in New York. But of course, no community was louder than this one here. You were promised a very special presentation today as I welcome back Mayor Crombie to do so. But before we do that, Bianca, Drake called this morning. And Drizzy's got a little care package for you. Come on up. Let's see what Drizzy's got for you.
and of course in a ride in his private jet, right? <laughs> so Mississauga continues to be a growing city, and as a growing city, we keep, well, you know, we keep building streets, roads, avenues right across our great town, and sometimes they have to be named. Not very often you have an opportunity to name a street for a U.S. Open champion, right? So we were thinking, how about Andrescu Way? What do you think? I'd like to welcome the woman of honor to join me on stage for the unveiling, please. going to be one of the first people to take a walk down the Andrescu Lane, and I hope you'll be around to join me. So as I mentioned earlier, we will be bestowing the keys of our city, uh, and that honor doesn't happen very often to too many deserving people. There are many, many deserving people in our city. We are phenomenal people here. Uh, but my fellow members of council and I know that you don't have to look too far to find extraordinary examples of courage, excellence, and talent. So much so that if we focused on these attributes alone, we'd be offering keys to the city to many deserving people. But, but the key to the city of Mississauga is our city's most prestigious form of recognition. And Bianca, we are so proud of you and your achievements and your big U.S. win. You are more, your most graceful and modest approach towards embracing your successes has embodied the values of both Mississauga, Ontario, and Canada. And your family is like so many others here in Mississauga, a true immigrant success story. So your hometown is going to continue to support your outstanding accomplishments while highlighting your inspiring career to our city's youth and our inspiring athletes. athletes. Now it is my great honor as the mayor of this great city to present Bianca Andreescu with a key to her hometown, the city of Mississauga. and souls imagine as well. We all know it started with a dream, and thank you for sharing your dream here with us today. And now, I'd like to welcome the first Canadian to win a U.S. Grand Slam title to share her story. Please give a big Mississauga welcome to Bianca Andrescu. So my goal today was to not trip in these shoes, 
and to not mess up this speech. So hopefully I can do both uh, really well after this. Um, so far, so good though. Well, this is crazy. This is crazy. I never thought I would have my own parade before, let alone the key to the city and a street named after me. I have to thank Mayor um, Bonnie Crombie for everything and her team and the city of Mississauga for putting this together. Thank you. Thank you. I am truly, truly blessed. I, oh, there it was. There's a mess up. Um, I'm truly, truly blessed. Uh, what's happening in Canadian sports this year has been so beautiful to watch and so inspiring. I did not get here alone though. I have to thank my whole entire team, my family, my friends, Tennis Canada for giving me this opportunity, for supporting me, for believing in me, and for sticking by me since day one. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here today, so thank you. I love you. <laughs> A special thank you to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Mayor Bonnie Crombie, uh, Chancellor Hazel, um, and Mayor John Tory for uh, everything, for all of your support, and for c continuing to make Canada such an amazing country. And for all the other dignitaries that are here today, and for everyone watching at home, I really, really appreciate it. The crowd, the fans, all of you. Thank you for the continuous support, not only throughout the US Open, but throughout my whole career, career so far. Every tournament I go to, I see Canadians everywhere, and it's, it's so beautiful to see. Um, I'm truly, truly blessed, and hopefully you guys can continue on supporting me for many years to come. proud Canadian. I am proud to represent this amazing country all around the world and I am very humbled to celebrate this moment with all of you here today and with everyone at home. This is only the beginning. I did not get here overnight. There has been a lot of hard work and sweat that went into it, a lot of dedication, a lot of downs, a lot of ups, but I made sure to stay very positive in those tough times. I know it's so easy to say, but I truly love this sport. I'm very passionate and I have really big dreams, so I'm really glad I never gave up because I wouldn't be standing here with everyone, so all I can say is if I can do it, if Serena can do it, if Roger can do it, if the Raptors can do it, so can you. Thank you. Thank you, Bianca. Bianca Andreescu, a Grand Slam champion, the key to the city, a street named after her. I don't know what else you can accomplish in 2019, but if there's anyone that's gonna do it, it's her, right? <laughs> Bianca Andreescu is a 2019 US Open champion. This rally was an unbelievable experience for all of you, but I know just listening to Bianca, it was for her as well. Uh, I'd like to invite Selena and Mariah on the stage with me to, uh, to help me out because Woo! we need to send we need to send Bianca off in style. We do. And this we crowd isn't done cheering. And there's a group of Romanian Canadians right over there 
that they, Woo! We see you. I feel like they've just gotten warmed up here. I think so. That's so good. how do we want to do this? I don't know. What are we thinking, Mariah? I say we lead a chance. I think a chance think? sounds good. Like what do you chance. guys think? I like chance. I like them. We got to give Queen Bee a big chance to congratulate her on this massive accomplishment. All right, Mrs. Saga, are you ready? All right. Bianca! 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 